we have spent quite a bit of time here on the Emerald Coast now since the release and we've managed to get quite a number of trophies. But at this point, we still kind of have two partially complete multi mounts. We've got a Diamond Magpie Goose just with a Gold Croc and then we have a Diamond Kangaroo next to what was a Troll Kangaroo but still a Gold. So today, we're going to set out and try to rectify that and in the process, maybe look for some of the species that we have not gotten diamonds of. So the first thing I want to do is go to the kind of northern area of the Opal Point. I don't think we've hunted Crocs up here almost at all. So I want to check that. We've already had two level nines on this map, both trolls, but maybe there's a third one and maybe it'll be a little kinder to us. And par for the course with crocodile hunting, our first one is aggressive. I guess kind of a decent level six. That shot should be fine from the 338. I don't know if we've done this just yet. I used the 338 a little bit in the Untamed Species video with Expansive Worlds because I wanted to shoot Bantang with that just to kind of show some of the different options, but I don't think we've used it for the Crocs, and at least there, it seemed to do just fine. Now, I mentioned wanting to get a diamond of those couple of species for the multi-mount, or really any of the species we don't have yet, but there are some incredible rares for the Crocs as well, and that would be something I'd really like to also have an opportunity at. We have spent a fair bit of time hunting Crocs. One thing we did, I think on last Friday's livestream, was go up the entire coast of the northern half of the map. We didn't do the southern half, and we went during Bantang drink time. So, shot a lot of Bantang, shot a lot of Crocs. Hopefully there should be some good respawns up in this area, and we may kind of spend some time down there too. And again, we've got another aggressive one, this one a level five. Not sure he'll make it to us though. That felt like a good shot, and I don't think he's gonna get here. But not exactly moving in the right direction. A level 5 this time, though, at least it's the gray variation. I can't remember. I think one of the troll knives we shot was the gray, and I really like that one. I just think it looks cool. And it's something a little bit different from what we had with the gators over on Mississippi. We also do have the opportunity for some magpie geese hunting. I'm getting the impression, mostly because we had two level 5s in the same general vicinity, that maybe diamonds for them aren't as rare as gray legs and tundra bean geese over on Reventuli. So, Always want to have the 22 ready and be spotting them when they fly over in case we do get another chance at one. So you may have noticed there is a slight change of scenery going on here. We've made it all the way down to the beach and I decided to fast travel south just so the wind would be better. And unfortunately so far, we have the exact same kind of crocs as we had in the mangrove forest in the north. Just a lot of really average sized like level 5s and 6s. We'll still go ahead and take those out. Never hurts to make a hard shot. But it just kind of seems like all of our big ones are literally anywhere else. But I'm hoping at least as we kind of go up along here, maybe we'll start to see some better ones. When we came up through here on stream, and to be fair, it was in the dark, so I don't know what kind of like rares we could have passed up or anything like that. But it seemed like there were a lot of level 7 and 8 max estimate crocs. And for the most part, we shot as many as we could. Now, if there were Bantang there, because we were there for the Bantang, we would kind of just spook the Crocs and shoot whatever we could get for those, but I'd like to think there should be some decent respawns around here. Just going to be a matter of, you know, whether or not they've actually been big enough to make diamond for once. But that is going to be three from here, and we already had a little bit of leftover hunting pressure because I think we basically did this exact same thing on stream. There's a max estimate track, but where would he be? Like, we should be able to see him. But anyway, I don't want to shoot that one. Only because the hunting pressure there probably already deleted the zone. We don't need to make it any worse. But maybe this guy's, like, somewhere south of us? At least we got to spot him. He was a level 7. I had kind of thought maybe he fled into the water because we had the tracks here. And then in running up here, whatever happened that he surfaced for just a second. But at least we know. And we can work our way up along the beach now. Now we're moving in the right direction. We do have a mythical out here. And the best news is it's not in the water when we can't actually get it. So I guess maybe, rather than running that entire area in the north, we should have just started here. But not only is that a mythical, I think it's the gray variation. And just to make sure, one of those shots will definitely bring it down. And I want to say, if I'm not mistaken, all the crocs we've shot, this is going to be the first gold. A 918, so not half bad. Ended up being a long shot the first time and then intestine stomach the second time just to bring it down a little bit quicker. And it was the gray variant. 
I just think they look the coolest of all the kind of common ones. But let's keep on moving up through here. At least there are some better ones on this side of the map. Even despite the fact that there hasn't been any level 9s, definitely been far better on this end than in the north. So probably that'll be our last croc of the hunt unless maybe there's one more just over this little rise. But I do want to get down to some of the other areas of the map. Probably look for kangaroos a little bit. I'm not sure if we've been into that like southwest corner of the map. I don't see any zones. But I think it's right by this lake is where there's typically like three or four groups of kangaroos. I want to pass through there and then probably still hunt some deer. But if nothing else, we should at least be in a decent position going forward. Haven't shot that many crocs. But yeah, let's go check that spot. And then maybe we'll just hunt around like in the center of the map. Because other than just discovering the map on stream, we still haven't spent a lot of time there. Well, that's a bummer. <laughs> Our first level 5 goat on the Emerald Coast is not even close. 186 is the top end of the estimate. I saw like the spiral horns, which we really haven't seen at all here. We haven't had that many decent ones. I didn't expect it to be a 5 based on the horn length, and I mean, we can see why. That is Emerald Trolls at its finest right there. I mean, this level 4 is way bigger. It goes up to 231. He's got like a legit shot at it. And there's an okay 4 there with like one lower estimate than the 5. We have the 243 today, so I want to get in ideally the 200 meters. Maybe we can get that guy. Because ideally, I don't want that one to hear the shot, so we probably have to shoot the level 4 from here. It'd be so nice if he would walk while we can actually see. I could just feel like he would start trotting as soon as he gets out from behind that tree. He's actually going to drink right there. So that should get him. It should have alerted but not spooked the 5, or even alarmed. And that one matters a little bit less, but I feel like that shot's going to be okay. And indeed, vital on the level 5, our 4's laying right there. He was 202 minimum. I think it's 207.9 or 208.9 for diamond. It is the blonde variant. And he's a 202.86, so literally the lowest end of the estimate. Even at that. Well, that's the white variant too. I think we had one in the past. They've changed them a good bit. And I really think because of this, the albino feral goats are actually going to stand out. Because before, there was barely any difference. But go figure, had a level 5 with no shot, a level 4 with a pretty legit shot, and both are actually going to fall pretty short. Like, I don't even know how this is a level 5. A 182. Being uneven certainly doesn't help. But neither of those are even diamond hordes. I almost thought the four weighed more, too. That is bizarre, but I never can remember exactly where that location is. Where there's a bunch of groups of roos. We're going to go all the way to the corner of the map. And then just move around down here. It's somewhere in this vicinity. But I don't know the exact location. Well, I think we may have at least partially found what we're after. I know in Early Access and the one multiplayer server that we've been in right down here by the lake had a bunch of kangaroos there but thus far in our single player map there's actually not that many but we do have an aggressive one which we can kind of take care of with the 303 and we'll still keep moving around this area because i bet there are groups down here that maybe just rest in a different area that was just a 216 scoring would have been silver but hopefully if we just make our way around here there will be at least something decent that, to me, looks like a black feral goat. I think that's what that is. It's tough to tell, because the I think it's dark brown, which might be that variant right there. Sometimes it does look really, really dark in the shadows, but I don't think that that's in the shadows. So let's take that with the 243. Try to pay attention to what we can see as it runs off. Definitely got it. And frankly, with the outline and stuff, I do think that's the black fur type. I don't think we need the disturb edge right behind it to identify it. That is definitely what that is. And as far as I know, they're still like really rare. We've never shot one of these before. It's a 70 scoring female. I actually thought at first it was like a decent male. Interesting the difference. But that is a good size female one for sure. 
we'll definitely tax that for our second lodge. And I mean, you know, I said at the beginning of the hunt about trying to find diamonds that we don't yet have here on Emerald Coast. A rare that we've never had also is pretty cool. And as for the kangaroos, I just don't know. I don't know if maybe had we gone in the morning, if they'd have been like around this lake, because I went back and looked in that video. It was right here. And we don't have nearly the ruse that we had in that multiplayer session. But why don't we head up here to kind of like the center area of the map and hunt for some of the deer species? Especially now that we've kind of checked that area. It is barely noticeable. But that is a highball hog deer or something. Like I can just see a little bit on his hind legs. And when he turned, I think there was something like on the jaw, like just below the ear. Let's try to scoot in and see if we can maybe alert him. Or actually, yeah, with the 243, I think we better. But we have not seen one of these yet. We had a couple of leucistics in early access. Figures he's the smaller one of the group, but that could be really cool. Definitely a pie ball too, as we get a little bit closer. He should be going to alert any moment. When he turns sideways, there's actually, it's really notable from the side. I thought it would have been cool to get a hard shot with the 243. We did not do that. Though maybe double lung. And we have yet another rare hog deer. It's no whatever that was. 95, 99 score leucistic like we had in early access. But a little level 3 pie. And I mean, I've seen worse. So definitely could have been lower scoring. And by the way, I don't remember how much of it was in the last video. Because we ended up having that other level 5 goose to chase and leucistic. So I ended up changing around the ending. But... What we had done was run this river during sandbar drink time. And clearly, we were just a little bit too late because this guy would have been drinking there. And he is pretty darn cool looking. I think there's no chance that he's a gold as a level 3. 62 score, so well shy of gold. That's a really nice piebald pattern though. And as far as I know, just based on the fact that like Lucistics have multiple variations, piebalds for some of the other species, we know Rusa and I think Sandbar, have multiple variations? There's probably another one, but that one is pretty darn good. Definitely could have been better size. He's actually in that 43 kilo range, so he was nearly a max estimate three. Pretty cool. I had just decided to come up here and run the river during drink time because nothing much was happening, and it was a, a worthwhile idea, that's for sure. Now that guy is much better sized, up to 103. And I think he's probably in the area of like mid 90s, maybe even 100. Looks pretty good, and he is maybe even over 300 meters. So, gonna aim high with the 243. That should drop into a lung, I think. It looks like it's going to. I still, one of these days, we need to test out everything on the hog deer because the more we hunt them, the more I think it's not that the 22 250 or 223 aren't as powerful as expected. I think the hog deer are just really, really tough for their size. Even at that though, over 300 meters, or at least around 300 meters, the 243 still did deliver a medium bleed rate. That guy's actually only 86. I thought these kind of splits at the back looked especially big, but he doesn't have as long of beams as I thought. It was basically exactly 300 meters, and maybe it was clipping the vertebrae that kind of helped out, but a diesel one for sure? Though it turns out he's barely a gold, not a really big gold. That is a Pretty good looking sandbar. I don't know for sure. Man, that's a level four. I was so sure that was gonna be level five. I think he's got a chance anyway. He goes up to 179, but legitimately, the only reason we're actually looking for sandbar right now is we brought the 303 and we hadn't fired it the entire hunt. I'm actually kind of surprised even with that kind of off angle. We probably only hit single lung. I still thought that would drop him, but that's I'm going to say probably by far the best sandbar we've had since release is definitely going to be our last kill. And I think he's bigger than our piebald. And our piebald was only a couple shy of being a diamond then. I think he was 157 and diamond is 166. We'll just let that guy go. This guy is 158. So, I mean, he is bigger than our piebald. Pretty good size one for sure. And I think a good way to wrap up our hunt. So... We do have a black feral goat and a piebald hog deer to place in our second trophy lodge. And it just so happened, we actually had a couple of these size platforms already empty. 
So we've got our feral goat and hog deer more or less side by side. And you know what I think is interesting? They have the exact same weight estimates. 43 to 50 kilo is the max estimate for both. The hog deer are so much bigger. Like, I don't know. To me, they don't look that big even on the hoof. In the lodge, though, they really do look a lot bigger than I would have expected. I think this is... We had put the leucistic there, but this is only the second time we've actually stood next to one. And I know it's elevated, but even still, they are definitely bigger than they look. And maybe that contributes to, like I was saying, them being kind of tanks, at least for a class three animal, but a pretty cool hunt. We got a couple of rares there, none of the diamonds that we we're looking for and nothing to complete our multi mounts, but never a bad deal when we're leaving a hunt, adding some rares to our lodge. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.